I uh, the dominant feeling is that uh, the Danes are very hospitable, very patient, uh, very sweet people, and I've had a great week, uh, especially with my hosts. So I must thank you. And the feeling that I carry back is that you've all been very loving, and you've made everything possible for us, except that we haven't gotten to see Denmark uh, too much yet to see the Little Mermaid. So I don't know how it looks like Maybe in the today. sense of in the sense of tourism. <laughs> and so we are going out on the canal tour now and I'm sure it's going to be great. But the feeling that I carry back is it's a beautiful country, cold in climate but very warm in heart. Are there any ideas that stroke you or something that you think you bring back with you an inspiration? I think uh, especially the, the initiatives in green growth are very striking. That's something we certainly need to learn from. And uh, I think the school education uh, interactions that I had with teachers yesterday were very fascinating. And I saw some of the textbooks that the Danish children are being taught. Teachers are free to design their curriculum. That's for me a great thing. I mean, if Indians can learn to do that, we can transform our education sector tremendously because we have this huge demographic advantage. But, um, you know, we run the risk of turning it into a demographic disaster because our education does not uh, teach people uh, well enough. You know, it, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't factor in the employability issue. It doesn't uh, educate people to get jobs. So that's a huge thing. And I think that's because the Indian education system is very structured and regimented, quite unlike what is here. So, I, of course, I take that back with me and I'm going to spread that message.